Hey guys, it's Moponoski15, and today I have an interesting video for you, and hopefully a very informative video for you guys. It's about the top 50 official EA Sports released players on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. This is the countdown from 50 to 1, and gives you all the official ratings of those players and their official stats for next year's Ultimate Team. Or I should say next games, or the next game, which is out in like 20 days. Yeah, let's just kind of get into it. The first player up we have is Chiellini, 84 rated, and then he's taken a downgrade. Then we have Perlo, who has also taken a downgrade. Alonso, who's taken a minus one downgrade. Casillas took a minus two downgrade, which is quite a bit. But deserved. Fabregas, which is one that no one saw. 84 rated. I mean, that's just stupid. Lloris gets a plus one upgrade from his FIFA 14 card. And this one, Martinez, has moved position and gone up a rating. Busquets is Busquets. He'll stay the same throughout the FIFAs. Doesn't matter where he goes. Jerome Boateng, plus two on top of his January upgrade. Juan Mata has gone down two overalls, which is quite a surprise to be fair. Benzema has gone, I think gone up, or has he stayed the same? I'm not 100% sure. Tevez has gone down, which was a bit of a shame. Goetze has, I think, stayed the same. His stats look alright, to be fair. Diego Costa has gone up one, plus he's got a better shooting stat. Tony Kroos has gone up one, and I think lost a bit of pace. Vidal is an 85 now, which is kind of a shame, because I wish he was an 86. Czech has stayed exactly the same, except he's lost his helmet. Cavani is now an 86, not an 87, and lost a bit of pace, which is a shame. Rodriguez has gone up 2 on top of his upgrade. Courtois has gone up. His stats look immense. I can't wait to use him. Neymar has got an upgrade of 2 and is now a left winger. Hummels has stayed exactly the same, so Bundesliga defences are going to be hard to beat. Ozil has had a downgrade, but has better in-game stats, which is weird. Muller has stayed exactly the same as a right midfielder, which is perfect for him. Royce has got a plus one upgrade, which is awesome. Good to see. Di Maria, he's now a cam. 86 rated. And then there's Aguero, who's got a downgrade of two. Which is a real shame. And is the same rating as fucking Wayne Rooney. That's just bullshit. Yaya Toure should have got an upgrade. Didn't. That's alright. He's still a beast. Javi had a minus... Or Javi had a minus three downgrade. Which is kind of a shame. But he is getting quite old. Company. Exactly the same. Got better defensive stats this year. Lewandowski is now an 87 rated. With better shooting stats. Modric has had a massive... Plus two on his overall and nice stat boost. Falcao has lost two overall and now looks shit at Manchester United. Van Persie does not deserve to be higher than Aguero. He should be an 86. Hazard, 88, same as his January tr upgrade, which is cool. Ribery, downgrade of two overall points, which is kind of a shame. Schweinsteiger, good old Schweinsteiger, stayed exactly the same at 88 rated. Lost defense, though. This is a player I really can't wait to use. Luis Suarez, 89 rated. Iniesta, exactly the same, 89 rated. Neuer, a plus four upgrade to 90 rated. Zlatan, Ibrahimovic, 90 rated. What a card that looks like. Iron Robin, 90 rated. That's a plus two. Ronaldo. Good old Ronaldo. Stayed the same at 92. This is the controversial one. Messi. 93 rated. That's a downgrade of one overall rating on his card that's been 94 for a few FIFAs now. I mean, I understand why it has gone down. And I'll explain to you guys why it's gone down now. Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or. In real life, at this moment, so Messi fans, no, hate, please. At this moment in time, Ronaldo is the better player and had the better season. So, Ronaldo deserves to be the higher rated. Messi, or what it is believed, Messi has a contract with EA Sports. That's why he's their cover star. 
And the deal is that he be is the highest overall player at the start of FIFA 14 or FIFA 15 or FIFA 13. Basically, he, is the, he has the contract to stay the overall rating. Because Messi won the Ballon d'Or the year before for FIFA 13 and FIFA 14, he got the plus two, but because Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or, Messi dropped the one overall rating. Still the highest player on the game, but not by an outstanding two overall. It's just by the one overall, which is because of the supposed contract deal that he has with EA Sports. So that's why he's that rating. One player that I can't wait to use in this game is Luis Suarez, 89 rated. That's a plus one upgrade on his upgrade card, and his stats look stupidly crazy. Everyone thought that he wouldn't be in the game because of his ban, but apparently he is at 89 rated, which is going to be sick. The BBVA looks immense next season with James Rodriguez. The Modric has got an upgrade, Suarez now, Mandzic, all of these players now in that league. The league looks awesome. I can't wait to use these players in FIFA 15, and make sure you guys subscribe to see FIFA 15 content when it comes out on the web app, as well as like this video, share it around, tell all your friends what the ratings are, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.